I'd like to begin by asking you a question. How many of you, after you woke up this morning, you jumped out of bed, you got out of the shower, you remembered to apply deodorant? Show of hands, how many of you used deodorant this morning? Come on, get those hands up. Oh, at least 95%. Thank you for being so considerate. But here's the question. I'm curious if you remember what brand you used. If I hear some brands that you use, just shout them out. Secret, what else? Old Spice, what else? Mitchum, all right. Seems to me there are a lot of choices in deodorant, are there? In fact, I have two here. Crystal Clean, Mitchum. Is there really much of a difference in deodorant? And frankly, I don't really want to buy deodorant. Do you? I don't think we want the deodorant. We want what the deodorant will do for us. So the question for you is this. How do your producers view you? Do they see you as just one of many wholesalers on the shelf? Or do they see you as the clear choice, the value added partner? Now having said that, I want to take you with me when I go on the road. You're getting... <laughs> hey, I got volunteers here already. Now I know having said that, to differentiate yourself that way, it's not that easy because as you heard all this morning, I was sitting in the back, you have lots of challenges. We all know what those are. Yes, we have a challenging economy. Yes, commissions have been reduced. Yes, we don't have enough products to sell. And we're trying to recruit producers and help them be better in their business, trying to recruit good staff and help them be productive. And the list goes on. Well, guess what? We cannot control every one of those challenges. But every one of you in this room can control how you choose to embrace your role as a sales and service manager or leader and how you choose to build your team, meaning your staff and your producers. So what I would like to do in my time with you is the following. I'd like to share with you a little bit about what do producers really want and what does it take to get your staff to be more productive? How do you know when your staff is on the phone or your producers with a client if they're really making a good consultative advisory call? How do you help them be better? And then once you got them, I mean, do you want hundreds and hundreds and thousands of producers? Or do you want to get more business and profitability from the ones that you have? And then ultimately, how do you make sure you're still having fun and not burning out while you're driving your business? And how do you make sure you know how to really dream big? That's what I would like to do in my time with you.